Hey guys, Kevin here. What I'd like to do is just give you an overview of the new laptop that I've purchased. This is something that I'll be replacing my Surface Pro 4 with. It's an HP, as you can see, and it's called the ZBook G3. Now this is quite a powerhouse compared to the laptops I've had in the past few years. And it's a lot bigger than I've been used to as well. So. The laptop that I used for quite a lot of years, and you know, I've got a lot of fondness for this one. This is a Lenovo X20, and this has got 12 and a half inch screen. And you can see the size difference there. One thing to note though is this is quite thick. Can you see it? Never a problem for me, but it's quite a thick laptop. Over the last three months, the laptop I've been using is this. This is a Surface Pro 4. You can see it there. So this is going to be sold. Uh, I'm going to keep that nice before I break it. Um, now, I was needing a bigger laptop for many reasons, but I explained in my Surface Pro 4 video, one of the reasons that I need this, and the main reason I need this, is to handle video editing better. The Surface Pro 4 and my older Lenovo couldn't handle that. They're dual core uh, CPUs. This is a quad core, and so when hyper-threading, it's going to go to eight instead of four that the other ones can do. Plus, it's got a larger screen. It's got an absolute beautiful screen. Now, it might take me a little bit of uh, time to get used to this, but as worth noting, the last one that I got, the last big laptop, was this. This also had a 15.6-inch screen. This was a gaming laptop I bought 10 years ago, and it is an absolute beast. This weighs 3.2 kilograms. And it does feel heavy, very heavy. At the time I loved it though, but times move on. This actually weighs two kilograms. The Lenovo weighs 1.3 kilograms and the Surface Pro only weighs 786 grams, I believe. But when you add on the keyboard and you add on a case, it's actually heavier than my Lenovo. I'll just open this up now. You can see what this is about. I'm gonna bring this bit a little bit forward. Let me zoom out a little bit, show you the screen. Now this has got some amazing specs, so I'll maybe just run through some specs for you just now. Get this in front of the camera, should we, can you see that? It's a wee bit too bright. So I'll turn the brightness down, you should maybe hopefully see this a little bit better in the camera. So, processor speed of 2.7 gigahertz, so Intel Core i7 6820HQ, it's got Intel HD Graphics 530. Um, it goes, it's 2.7 gigahertz, but it goes up to 3.6 gigahertz with Intel Turbo Boost technology. It's got 16 gigabytes of RAM in the slots, two times eight gigabytes, it can go up to 32. Um, it's got 512 gigabytes of SSD storage, and it's got four gigabytes of graphics card. It's four gigabytes of dedicated GDDR5. It's the NVIDIA Quattro M1000M. Bang all the speakers, 720p HD webcam, and then here you can see all the ports. We've got an Ethernet, two USB 3, a flash SD support, two Thunderbolt 3s, an HDMI 4, and another one uh, USB. And it's got wireless LAN. Now the thing, one of the things I know about this is this: it actually weighs two kilograms. Now this is a really big laptop, but if you look at the side here, it's really thin. So I'll just take you through um, all the sides here. This, so this is the front cover, and it kind of opens that way. So this is the HP logo on the front. There's nothing here apart from the... Um, um, there's some lights here, show you like wireless power on and things like that, where the hard drive has been used. So this side you've got the SD card slot, you've got two USB 3s, you've got the Ethernet and you've got a lock, which I assume is Kensington lock. The other side we have the power, we have two Thunderbolt ports, we have an HDMI port and we have another USB 3. Then we've got a headphone jack. When you open it up, you see here now, when you turn it on, one thing you know about this is the resolution. Now the resolution on this is absolutely insane. Now I do apologise, I was wanting to show you me using this, um, but I'll do that in another video because what I've done is 
I've actually reset it. I wanted to reset the, the, um, the computer because I actually bought this second hand. Saved myself a lot of money. Just want to find the resolution for you guys. And where is it? Overview. So here's the resolution. It is 15.6 inch Ultra HD 4K. So it's 3840 by 2160 in anti glare display. So it's pretty good. This can be used to power two 4K um, laptops, a uh, monitor, sorry. Now, first impressions, that's a very positive. You know, when you move this, you can see the keys are lighting up. It's got a backlit keyboard. It's got the keys in the middle. I noticed that a lot of the 15.6 inch laptops have actually got the keys a little bit more in the touch by the way to the left and they've got a number pad in, but I'm glad they didn't have this because I'd rather have everything right bang in the middle in the center. You can see these banging off some speakers at the side. I'll go into that in more detail in another video. You get a mute button and you've got a wireless button there. There's also, I believe that's a fingerprint reader. And at the top here we've got the, the webcam. Now, I'm going to, either tonight or tomorrow, I'm going to start installing all the programs, but, you know, specs are one thing. You know, I looked at a lot of laptops, they have really good specs. But, I think one of the key things here is build quality. This, as you probably saw, retails brand new for over £2,200, which is, you know, probably about, exchange rate just now, about $2,600 or something like that. Um, I, I total guess I haven't converted that. You can see the fans in the background, uh, at the back of the device here. You can upgrade the RAM, and I believe you can replace the hard drive. I'm not sure how you do it, but I'm quite happy with what's in it just now. It's two kilograms, so that, that, that was one of the things I was kind of worried about, was the weight. Because, you know, I'm used to nearly all the laptops I've had over the last 10 years, bar that big one that I just showed you, they've all been a, between 1 kilogram and 1.5. So to have something that's jumped up to 2 kilograms and something that's much bigger than what I'm used to, because I will be using this to go, you know, traveling, my backpack, um, weekends, away, holidays and things like that. So it's a little bit bigger. But this is an absolute powerhouse and it's going to help me do a lot of work that I couldn't do before. So I just thought I'd show you this video, guys. Uh, do a little video for you guys. Let's see, this is mobile workstation. Um, this is really just a first impressions video, and it's not something that's really spoke about. You know, lots of people when they're talking about, you know, buying a laptop of this kind of range, they're normally talking about the XPS 15 or they're talking about the MacBook Pro, the 15 inch version. They're not really talking about the HP ZBook series, but they should. You know, this is got fantastic specs and I'd like to you know show you how powerful it is in another video. What I'd like to do is perhaps you know do some video editing, show you some benchmarks and I'll show you what it can do. Thanks for watching guys until next time take care. If you've enjoyed the video please do subscribe because I'm going to be doing more videos about this laptop in the future and please do click like or share if you've enjoyed it. Until next time guys thanks for watching take care.